So if you need help paying your water bill, listen up. State program designed to help lower income individuals is now being extended. And joining us this morning to talk more about this is Lori Hewitt. Thank you so much for joining us. So this was a COVID era program. It was designed to end this fall. So what's the new deadline? Why was it extended? So yeah, the low income household water assistance program um, is a federal program, uh, federally funded, and it's available uh, throughout the United States. Um, it is being extended until March of 2024. So if folks in the Sacramento Valley um, or throughout California are looking for assistance to be able to pay their bills, um, they can actually go to the state's website, which is um, csd.ca.gov. Uh, backslash water bill and find their local service provider. So Community Resource uh, Project is a local service provider. Um, this program is designed to help low income families with the water and sewer bill. Um, a lot of folks are you know, struggling to pay their bills right now. Times are really tough. And this is just one more measure that we can take um, as an organization to help the folks within our region. All right, so we are putting up the monthly income uh, eligibility requirements. We'll put those back up for a second. Families who don't think that they're qualified, they might be surprised, correct? That is correct. Yeah, we really encourage people to head over to our website, um, communityresourceproject.org. There's some information on the income el eligibility guidelines. Um, <clears throat> they can also apply directly on our website, upload, upload documents and get information there. So how many households currently are taking advantage, especially in our area? Do, do we know how many might even qualify in our region? There's quite a few. So Community Resource Project covers Yuba, Sutter, and Sacramento territories. Um, so that's quite a large area. Um, we get thousands of applications every month. Um, so we really encourage folks right now, especially to, um, even if you don't think you'll qualify, just hop onto the website and apply because this monies, these monies will be available through March of 2024 or until the funding runs out. So this is mm -hmm. a, a one-time payment program. Okay, so someone who might be watching this will say potentially, okay, as soon as I sign up, how long will I have to wait until that assistance kicks in? How long mm -hmm. does it take for, for all of that to, to start? Yeah, it can take up to six weeks. Um, you know, we, we are quite backlogged. You know, a lot of people are struggling. This is, um, you know, kind of the theme throughout many programs like this. Um, so, you know, when, when you do apply, you can anticipate a little bit of a wait time. Um, if there's any shutoff notices, so if you're facing a shutoff notice, we do escalate those cases so that we can help prevent that shutoff. Um, and folks can always, um, you know, reach out to us as well um, just to see the status of their application. Lori Hewitt, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too.